Foodly doodly 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 do. Foodly doodly 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 do. And there one says, oh, okay, I'm not knowing what I'm doing. <laughs> so, couple and son. What? I'm gonna say this about the Upside Down Castle, which we've been playing for a few videos. It sure feels a lot more pointless than the rest of the game. Like, I don't know. I think what they're doing, and it's pretty funny, and it's pretty amusing, and, but, like, yeah, I, I, every video, I feel like all I am literally doing is roaming around, finding stuff at random, and just, you know, stuff happening almost by accident. Um, walk armor is now equal, so let's put it back on. Also, I was told that Ring of Pill ain't doing much for me now. Let's see here. Ah, that's true. Alright. You know what? Alright, I'm convinced. <sighs> Takes a lot to convince me. <laughs> Whoa. Bitter fly, that's kind of funny, but... Well, we'll see, we'll see what's up. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Oh man, but yeah, I thought my technical things were fixed. Uh, I guess we're um, I'll just move around here, see what happens. Destroy this orb here, get a turquoise. Oh, I keep mixed, taking the butterfly with my ghost, that's not good. Oh yeah, it's this place, it does a loop. That's, oh wait a second, I didn't see you there, I was busy looking somewhere else on the screen. Probably shouldn't happen. My ghost is able to one-shot them, so it's like, whatever, man. Okay, so there's a door here. Just going around in circles. And going around in circles. Hey, uh, PPR is gonna be taking over here. Uh, basically, what happened is that my technical issue that plagued me the other day returned for some mysterious reason. I don't know why, so I figured nuts to that. I uh, gave up on traps at the very least for today and tried out that OBS thing that I was suggested and actually it works pretty well it looks like. I'm still not sure, I'm still working out in terms of um, figuring it out per se, you know, its nuances and whatnot. However, by setting it up, uh, looks like I did something wrong because the volume of the game completely and utterly overpowers my voice. And, uh, like, it even goes over my, uh, my recording of the, the voice on Audacity, so I can't really even just use that and boost up the volume. So, looks like, uh, I'll be the one guiding you towards this exciting adventure in the castle of Dracula and the very sundry beastlies within. Um, so I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know why this is giving me so much trouble, but it happens, uh, and here I notice that, in fact, indeed, the CD and little symbol is still right side up, even though the rest of the room... And, oh, I don't like these! Well, it's big old skulls, like, uh, uh, it's just, they unnerve me, like, I'm... While I was playing, I was actually diverting my eyes not to look at them. Uh, luckily they're large enough, and they're, there's a large enough contrast with their shape and, uh and uh, form that uh, was okay and you know what in this part of the castle difficulty gets significant and i wasn't noticing there that i was hitting that monster thing for like a whole one damage uh, except for sometimes uh, uh, while my ghost is doing a lot more of the work uh, yeah i'm when, whenever i'm watching myself like man really this, this isn't giving out the peeps. What is that? Anyway, like, uh, they call it, I forget, but, like, they remind me of what the Gorgons originally were supposed to be. Like, sort of beastly things that would, you know, just, I think they still involve themselves with stoning. And also, I think there's supposed to be two of them, but there's only one here. Um, not sure what's up with that. I guess it went away. It's like, man, where do I go? Because I, my concern is closing the loops. You know, the fact that there's open loops really bothers me. It's like, man, loops, and there he is, it's, it's the Guardian. It, it's the second cousin of um, the armor guy that was giving me a lot of problems at the start of the game. Surprise! He's giving me a lot of problems also. He has a shield, and he has a sword, he has a little, you know, clue in town, and I'm like, yeah, I'm hitting him, my shots of one, so... 
Something's gone wrong, but I don't know if I actually noticed by now that I'm only hitting him in shots of one, which is kind of humiliating. There we go. Oh no! I am dead! Now I'm gonna have to edit footage. So the game over screen lasts forever. Oh! So this is the part, basically. <laughs> where all the car joins the rodeo. Where I noticed I was hitting these guys for one. Like when I hit the enemies, my strength is the same, but obviously there's something going on now. So I'm trying to figure out, you know, if there's a weapon I got that hits them for more. Because that 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 ain't normal, yo. And um, my like my ghost doing normal damage. So I'm looking, you know, uh, at my different thing is magic I gotta use, is it a blunt weapon I gotta use, it's a uh, game not always the clearest things about things, but you know, at the very least I did realize that a thing needs to be thing here, otherwise there's just gonna be problems also. Did I just seriously try Firebrand twice in a row? Oh no, no, no it's a shield rod, that's right. Uh, yeah, that's not, oh, but except, I don't know, I'm just not sure what's up with these guys, looking at this. I mean, it's dead, but it's mostly due to Scooby-Doo, uh, something you can often claim. And here's where I decide to try again that famous shield rod thing, and... Yeah! <laughs> there's my... There's my friend, Mr. DeFace! <laughs> that thing is super disgusting looking, like it doesn't actually have a face in front of his face, so it's, it's just like... Non skin gum man, that's uh, that's super gross. I do not like his imagery. Um, I wish he would go away, but I mean, you can't you can't argue with the results? It's like, yeah, face kind of making me curious to try it out with all my different shield. I just don't know if it's worth the hassle or not. But like, ah, uh, when I said that you know, there was effects associated with uh. The shield rod! I wasn't imagining full-on Final Fantasy summons here. <laughs> it's the clock room, it's where we're at. Uh, yeah, this is my opportunity to do things. Oh yeah, I want to see if, if you put down the rings again. Uh, if you could open up the passageway again. I don't know why. But something tells me that in the middle in there is maybe where the real Dracula is. Um, obviously using the rings isn't enough, but like maybe once you get the five uh, pieces of Dracolans? That's what I'm thinking. I don't really have anything to, you know, like, uh, corroborate that, but you never know. Uh, this is kind of silly, like, why are all these things in capsules? If they're not alive, they're not, like, Alucard siblings. That just makes no sense. Also, this is weird screen tearing that was going on here, and I hope you didn't notice, because if you didn't notice, then I made it notice to you, so it's, it's a lose-lose uh, figment of our imagination. So, the magic, you know, that's the use of magic looks like. It's, you know, it's to, to summon monsters and do spells. You know, that's what a magic meter is for, is for your magic. It's it's very hard to figure out. Oh man, you found a heart just in the middle of nowhere. It's pretty swell-tastic, and you got a stick-hitting animation. It's pretty good. It's pretty fantastic also, and it's kind of a bother to get out of this place. It's like, yay! Then you fall back out. So then you gotta fly back up anyways. That poor Scooby Doo was now is all confused. We're making fun of him now. It's not So now the passageway on the right is open, I notice now here, and I just I don't know, I still don't really understand why it creates that. Um but you know, still gonna explore stuff but like oh man, potions I to uh, quote what I said in the video itself, potions that I'm never gonna use. Except that I probably should start to use them because, uh, yeah, the difficulty sure kicked it up a notch. And it hasn't stopped kicking it up notches. Um, let me tell you that. We're gonna find that out soon enough. First, we gotta go over here while the statuary is gone on vacation. Uh, we can finally sit out and go inside the door. It's like, wow, a door. I never thought I would one day experience the knowledge that comes with. You know, door appropriations. Uh, I made some joke about home ownership at this point. Well, I forgot what the joke exactly was. Pretty sure it was pretty good, though. Maybe, possibly, kind of. 
You never know, really. Problem is, I don't hear what I'm saying here. Like, I don't know if there's still overpowering game audio or not. So I'm just kind of saying things here. It's pretty great. I'm gonna complete the loop. <laughs> Fun to complete loops, because it's like, alright, uh, one last, you know, sort of loose and uh, swallowed by the infinity of time. Finally, rest may be found. This was I always say at some point, probably. And uh, this is the part where you're going back. You might have left it all in the video, because normally it's just going back, it's like, whatever. It doesn't take a whole long, and it's part of the Metroidvania, you know, Adventure Town. But it's kind of a bother when you're re-narrating things without much of the feeling that thing. So I was like, yeah, well, okay. See, the problem is, now that I know this exists, it's hard not to use it. <laughs> um, it's really ridiculous. And, you know, that guy is like, whatever. Yeah, as long as I'm fighting dudes with armors, anyway, I should keep something blunt, so I know. As long as I'm fighting against armored dude, I guess. It's just... <laughs> so ridiculous. Oh, man. But man, though, I don't know. Apparently, enemies can be of higher level than the bosses that they surround. Which just seems insane to me. Like, Konami had no idea what they were doing, that much is pretty clear. And now we're in the final leg of my Exploratum of the day. We're finding skeletons and also Zelda 1 traps that hide in the wall, things Jack the Bones to a funny name. Yeah, here's the like, here, so I was just gonna shut up. I was like, yeah, nuts to that, man, that's too dangerous, I'm gonna mist it all up, you know, go through my style. And, uh, yeah. I don't know if I got equipment that's specifically designed for magic, because, uh, that's gonna get a thing. So Nova Skeleton this is a really funny thing. It's a really funny idea. It's like, <laughs> That's so stupid. It's so dumb! But it's, it's a dangerous kind of dumb, so... You no, know, don't lick it if you can help it, please. Because I... That looks power. I don't know, maybe it's uh, less powerful than it looks, but honestly, at this point, I don't think you want to take a chance here. I was getting very afraid and decided it was probably a good time to heal. Kind of sad about Beelzebub wasting all my healing items, so here I just decided to become a potionaholic and just drink all my normal potions. I mean, might as well, they don't heal by that much no more. So I got a lot of lives. Um, well, life. Well, HP to be exact. Uh, so I'm like, oh. Yeah, I know, if you press a button, it's gonna sort things, but I'm just so used to how things are placed right now that I resist the temptation of... Oh, man, that's kind of pathetic. <laughs> uh, sorting them. Which is silly. I'm aware of that. Uh, I really should have used my clock more often, honestly. Uh, I wonder if it stops the traps, because it probably would have helped a lot. Uh, not sure why I don't, but I think I was just outright, just literally not thinking about it. And here I was like, man, really could use a save and stop. Uh, it doesn't look that much in terms of time, I'm aware, but uh, I had played a lot more than it looks like also, you know, with the time that it took to... Uh, man, you know what, the whole OBS thing and Fraps thing, it's, a, it's almost a good thing that now is when I became... Um, Let's call it, um, um, employment independent, because man, if this was going on while I had to prepare for work or whatever for the day, I would have been in panic, I would not have been a happy Dan at all, like, like in the slightest. But, uh, yeah, so this is the part where I chicken out and I'm just like, oh no, where can I save? And I remember that was the long haul of nothing. I was like, oh no, no, there had, there is, there is a safe spot somewhere in there. I remember there was one somewhere, but I just didn't remember where. Like, you know, because, like, it's the same, but it's not the same. It's like, ah, what do I do, right? So, uh, ultimately, I uh, run around. It's pretty great, like, spoilers. The skeleton there is wearing kitchen gloves because he really wants to wash those dishes. But his hands are full of bones! 
What are you going to do? And here I was like, oh yeah, no, right. This leads to the basement. And um, once you get there, there's a safe spot like right there. So, you know, that's my... I, I might be giving myself a better image than what... So just made a frame rate not that great. Uh, I'm pretty sure that is purely OBS, but it seems less than, than, than usual. Well, whatever. Can't do much about now at this point. Uh, I got some fiddling to do there. And uh, I think I was looking for something to, to heal. Uh, this turkey. Should eat that turkey. Oh, God. It's, it's a big old bird. It's a bird that's bigger than you. It's, it's a really fat turkey. He, uh, you know, he's a noble, no Dagalon. He's based on the noble, so he probably has his own turkey farm. Like, probably has a park or something. Like, uh, just a place where he hangs out with all his, with his animals. You know, he has his piggies there, and when he wants to, you know, for some fun. He, uh, he goes and hunts, but oh, I think that's where Frankenstein with the chainsaw is. Not Frankenstein, but Frankenstein's monster. There's there's a nuance. Keep all your zirconium diamonds in the fragile vases, please. No one is interested in eating them, so you're gonna be okay. This is where the video ends! This is where I can finally put my mouth to rest. This has been a long day of speaking in a microphone. Next time, hopefully, things will go better. Yeah, we'll check out how that goes, and I, I'm pretty sure I can fix the sound setting. I just.